to do at University of Bath and um, in the Center for Little Society. And this is Mr. Nobody. And Mr. Nobody is going to help me through this evening, hopefully. So he was somebody who sort of was, but wasn't. And I would like you to think about that weird kid in your classroom who was never really cool. That person who never wore the right clothes. The person who never really knew the right answer. Look a little bit like that. You with me? Got them? Right. So I'll give you some examples of those. So I'm being told that friendly in Britain is a thing and a belief that um, people with a uh, change of hair have got no soul, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. So it apparently doesn't matter if they're brave or smart or whatever. Next, however, comes up a whole family of these Mr. Nobodies. You wait for them, they're awful. They're green and they stink and they've got funny years, right? So you'd agree with me that there's nothing <coughs> lovely or adorable about them even is there. And brace yourself, what's coming next? Even worse. So, according to some, old people have got no value any longer. So, supposedly, it doesn't matter that they can teach us about life and the world more than Google will. Anyhow, so there is more. <coughs> Come in. <laughs> A woman, exotic looking woman on the top of it. So, you know, maybe she doesn't know how to make a Sunday roast, but perhaps we could give her credit for preventing the war. And next comes up a story. So once upon a time, there were several friends, and they were called religions of the world. And they possessed two superpowers, compassion and understanding. The end. <laughs> so, to sum it up, this whole thing is called othering, and that makes us believe that us is somehow better than them. It creates distances and focuses on differences, and it demonizes them. It's made of several things, like discrimination, dehumanization, racism, sexism, and other delights. And so why do we <laughs> other the other? Well, for several things. Sometimes, and most often that is the case, that we're scared. Because it's easier to think, I don't know you, you're dangerous, so let's increase security measures. <coughs> Rather than thinking, I don't know you, let me get to know you, and we might actually learn something from one another. And sometimes we do it because we can, because we have a power or money, we know the right people, or we're just a cool kid, or perhaps not so cool after all. So my message to you tonight is, worth waiting for. <laughs> Labour jars, not people. Because those who are making themselves bigger by making everyone else smaller have got a very similar agenda to someone who you probably all know. Adolf. So this is how it's done. First, you point at them and you say, the other, that's weird thing about them. Then you make them illegal. And finally, you use your power and you devastate. Or not. Because it's up to us. Because the true power of education is that you get to choose how you see people and the world. So perhaps we don't need to make any more Mr. Nobodies, right? So really, we're all earthlings. And um, imagine if it was your mother, or brother, or sister who was just being turned into Mr. Nobody by someone else. How would you feel? So do not be scared, do not fear the unknown. It's a little bit like when you're starting a new job, or if you have got a first date, or the time you first tried the exotic food. You were scared, but you still did it, right? So empathize and understand. Just imagine the other to be your own, and if you do have a power, money, influence, or if you're just a real cool kid, then, then stick up for the underdog because you know, it's a good thing to do. And maybe for a whole nations of them. Have a heart and feel it. Because really, othering is something that we do and we must stop it. And so to reveal the secret, um, I study something that is being referred to as um, social death. And so I look at how people are being in, turned into Mr. Nobody on large scales as well as small scales. And my personal mission is to 
work out how to prevent it from happening. Thank you.